Hey y'all, Earl here, here Billy Beekeeping. Checking out the girls. I found them getting in the trash can trying to get some pop yesterday, so I made them up some Apis Biologic Sugar Water Peppermint Oil. Put it out there, my combination, and uh, they all over it. They on crazy over it five gallon buckets i had three hives i actually put buckets on i had to put covers over them it was just ridiculous so yeah the fall flow here has halted there's still stuff out there but it ain't enough to bring anything in worth anything it don't seem like because they're going crazy over the food but it's that time, ain't it? I mean, look at these old crazy leaves and everything. It's uh, times are changing. Let's go check this open feeder out right here. I'll show y'all what I've got going on here. The rest of the ones on the hives. This out here is where my feeding station is. That's my Apis Biologics and uh, Adotomacia Series, Peppermint Oil, all stuff I put in mine. Yeah. And that over there, that's a secret, super powerful mixture with really high peppermint oil in it. Almost so much so mm -hmm. it's about a treatment. I can't hardly breathe it without making my eyes water. I don't know how they get on it like that. What? Why, yes. I'm glad you asked. That is one of Bob's Appy Tablets. Appy Tablet. You mean from Mamet in Turkey? Yep. Don't you supposed to put them in the hive, Earl? You ever know me to do what I'm supposed to do when somebody tells me to do it? Earl does what Earl wants to do. I gotta know stuff. Bob and my mate should send me lifetime supplies of this stuff just because of this video. They ain't gonna put it out and open feed it. Earl will. Wonder how many colonies will have a drastic blow to the mites in the next couple of days. Me out here open feet. This super essential oil mixture in which, according to the University of California's Veterinary Sciences, essential oils such as peppermint, clove and others have and are used to improve honeybee gut health and it's been known to repel pest. Earl's used peppermint for years to repel pest and improve the honeybee gut. And there's a little peppermint in that right there, that Appy tablet. But there's also right smart thymol and some other things in there. It's a good mixture. They tell me it takes about, you know, four to six weeks maybe to dissolve a whole tablet down. And they tell me it takes about two or three days to watch our mites drop out. Well, I got it figured if everybody open feeds it and eats it, we don't have a bunch of them having mice dropping out. And before I put any of this in my hives, we'll do a video and we'll go around and look at them before and after. I want to do, you know, before and after. But right there it is, y'all. Open fed Appy tablet. They all over it. Like it's a piece of paper, man, or something. Leave it to Earl. To not follow directions and follow his pragmatic mind. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Peppermint and the other essential oils are good for the bees. Everything in moderation. Too much water can kill a man. It's just something satisfying when you go through the work that you do for your livestock and you put that feed out. Like when them cattle's come to that tray and them horses and they chew and munch. And, and it's just a satisfying feeling. As it is to put out sugar water and uh, heavily dosed peppermint sugar waters. And... Let everybody have it and take it back and get the benefits from it. And now, everybody is going to get and reap the rewards of the open benefit, open fed, happy tablet. That's right. Made in his American New Jersey, I'm going to call it laboratory because I don't know what he's got up there. But, uh, and sold by Bob at BeWars.com. We don't use the word treatment. We're simply aiding our bees in a natural way to help them do what they do best. Bee stuff. Y'all know, I posted the video there on Bob's channel, Walker, Walker Bee Ranch. And he put one of them in one of his worst hives. And it dropped over a row, cleaned them up, and brought them back mighty. And that's all he done was put one of them in it. Well, did the bees like it? Well, I showed you bees eating peppermint. I'm going to show you bees eating Appy Tablet from Turkey. It's where it was invented, made in the American labs, sold by my American brother, Bob Walker. It's something else, y'all. That's something else. I was so glad when that came in the mail today. To have that in my arsenal. Oh. It just feels better. I now know I have everything I need, no matter what. I'm good. Take care of my girls and keep them clean. But now if I ever have to, I know the way back to Formick Street. But, uh, I don't think we'll have to be worrying about that none. Got some pretty, pretty bees. They seem to be doing a pretty good job. Excuse me. And I'm loving that a nail hive. That thing is just super cool. And it's like you don't do nothing to it. I mean... They don't propolize them up. As soon as you unlatch them, they fall apart easy. It's just, it's great. Everything about it's great. What we got going on here? You girls doing good? Heidi? Seem like they all right. And my, mono my Monopoly six-frame nook stack. I think it looks like a Monopoly motel. That's why I call it that. Then my buddy Jason's hive here. That's a split I made for a buddy of mine. We'll give it to him. He brought a box up. We put them in them. They're doing good, Bobby. Here in a couple of days, we're going to go to them. I'm going to do some mop washes with Don. And uh, if any of them is in need of uh, a little natural aid, I will apply a happy tablet as needed. I really feel 
with the with the Appy tablet with the Apis Biologics and with my peppermint oil and candies. I really believe we have reached a point in beekeeping in beekeeping where the game has changed. The odds are now in our favor. I predict that over the next year of beekeeping, it started, we just had our new year in August. That's what Bob Benny calls the beekeeper's new year, August. And let's go till next August, and I'll bet you this will be the season, this will be the year, this one coming up, where the beetle and the mite and the moth have met their match, not only up here in Hillbilly Earl's, Earl's Girl Hillbilly Hives, but I believe it's going to be just about everywhere. I'm loving this uh, open air entrance reducer. That's what I call it, open air entrance reducer. Kind of like a robin screen, only with no side door. It's just front entrances, all three eighths holes, and they're big enough to handle it. I didn't think there was. They'd have a three hole on there like that and over there, but I don't know which one of them's bigger now. I'd say this one's still the biggest time, but that no bar is pretty healthy and stout. I love these bees. I love them being healthy. I love them being clean. And I've been telling, been preaching, there is a way to be pest free. I really believe we have the tools to do it now. I encourage you. Now look, being pest free don't mean you ain't never gonna be bothered by no bugs or mitre beetles. But when they show up, we got the know-how and the tools to stomp it out and kick it out the door and let it be somebody else's problem. Praise God for that. Thank God for answered prayers. We have Ap Ap tablets. We have Apis Biologics. We have Peppermint Oil. We have Thyme Oil. Eucalyptus Oil. So many essential oils naturally keeping beekeep beekeeping and keeping bees the most natural way possible. I love it. Well, I just wanted to show you all that I am feeding too. And uh I got my Apple tablets in the mail. Do the bees like them? <laughs> Y'all saw it. Like always, I done it here first. Oh, Hillbilly Earl, Hillbilly Beekeeping. God bless you all, and God bless you bees.